Her name was Sarah Bartman, daughter of South Africa. She went to Europe willingly, thinking she would find riches and fame. They fooled her. In Europe, she found humiliation, forced to be a spectacle because many of them had never seen a naked black woman's body. They nicknamed her Hot and Tot Venus. They were fascinated by her large, full breast, big hips, buttocks, and big lips. They stared, touched, and laughed. She couldn't really be human because she didn't look like a white woman. Her skin was the deepest shade of the darkest chocolate. Her hair was a thick black cloud on her head. Doctors and medical students scribbled madly in their medical journals descriptions of her body. She was later sold to a circus where she danced naked for the entertainment of white people. In their mind, her large breasts, buttocks, and her elongated labia made her inferior and oversexed. This justified their inhumane treatment of the black man and the black woman. No longer wanted in the circus, she became a prostitute and later died from loneliness, shame, and disease. She had been in Europe for only five years and was only 25 when she died. But her story doesn't end there. Even in death, she wasn't allowed dignity. Europeans were fascinated and obsessed with Sarah Bartman. When she died, they cut out her vagina, her brain, her skeleton, preserved them in jars, and placed them all on display along with a plaster of her actual body. For 160 years, people could walk into a museum, look at Sarah Bartman's vagina, her brain, her skeleton, and see what she looked like naked. In 1974, they took down the display, but they still kept her remains. It wasn't until 2002 that her remains were returned to her homeland and given a long overdue proper burial. Some would say Hot and Tot Venus aka Sarah Bartman was one of the first video vixens. Before television, before radio, Sarah Bartman became the blueprint for degrading and humiliating the black woman on a worldwide level. Sarah, this one is for you. I will not forget you. I will not allow others to forget you. I will make sure our people remember you and know your name. Black America, I find you guilty of murder. You're slowly killing the black woman with your blatant disrespect for black womanhood. We have pimped our daughters and mothers for platinum record sales, new cars with big rims and mansions, while Eve's daughters drop it like it's hot for crumpled dollar bills and the chance to be nominated the year's best video vixen. We spit on Sarah Barton's memory, and Harriet is turning over in her grave while Sojourner stands at the throne of the Almighty, praying, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Do you? Do you understand what you have done, what you are doing? How many black women came before you and played the maid and prostitute so you wouldn't have to? How many of us have turned down roles because we valued how the world viewed black women? But not today's daughters. For a few dollars, they feed into America's jungle bunny fantasy, shaking their fangs half naked with a smile upon their faces. But their eyes say, save me, save me from myself. And where is black America? We are on the sidelines cheering because baby girl is no longer a resident of the ghetto. She's riding in Bentleys or Benzes draped in furs and diamonds. And the record label just bought her a fat house. But have we forgotten? Massa always kept his main hoe close to the big house or a house to call her own as long as she opened the door when he came knocking and he will be coming back. It's so sad. Back then we were forced to degrade ourselves to the level of being some man's whore. Today we willingly degrade ourselves. The black woman has become America's number one whore. We fought that label for so many years but here our daughters came along and solidified the deal. But many of us sold our daughters to them. We sold them for houses with jacuzzi-sized bathtubs and the chance to say, That's my baby on TV. Have we no shame? No guilt? We can't blame the white man for this one. In concert stadiums all over the world, our black men proclaim to the world that his women are bitches and hoes. It's so common some of us think that this is our name and answer to it. We have forgotten our grandmother's pain, her struggle to carry the burden so we wouldn't have to. Do you hear the ancestors crying out, is this what we died for? I say no. Wake up, black woman. Wake up, black America. Take back your dignity. The power is in your hands.